In this video, I'm going to show you how to glitch inside quarter zones for one play touchdowns out of the bunch tight end. You can do this out of really any formation, um, and it's very, very, very powerful. So I'm really excited to share this with you. Now, if you've never met me before, my name's Cody. It's great to meet you, and I just want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now, we're going to be here for about 8 to 10 minutes, and we're going to talk a little bit about some Madden. Now, one of the things I want you to know about my channel is my channel is completely devoted to helping you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It's it's completely free to subscribe if you want to support the channel a little bit more you can hit the join button uh, below but we're gonna dive right in here now this is um, this is basically what I like to do against inside quarter zones we're gonna talk about a specific adjustment that I've actually seen a lot of people using uh, to stop bunch tight end uh, and I want to talk about you know what you can do to kind of make it better for you so um, the first things first is we're gonna put our flats on 30 and this is an adjustment that a lot of people are utilizing out of cover four to be able to deal with some of the things that bunch tight end can offer now if you have any questions about the video you feel free to text me my cell phone number is in the top left hand corner that's my personal cell phone number you'll never get a text message from anyone but me by texting that in it's not a robot thing or computerized system um, so you just text me it is my personal cell phone number if you want to connect that way um, but one of the things that I want to hit on real quick is this is an excerpt out of the bunch tight end offensive ebook. So if you're if you like what we're doing out of this video and you want to check out the full scheme or the full ebook that I wrote on the bunch tight end offense, that is available for you in the description of this video. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump in. So the first things first is I just want to show you kind of the problem. So um, the beauty of the inside quarter zone is that it actually, especially in this year's game, it plays post routes fairly well. Um, so if you look here, if I try to run PA cross, you'll see that PA cross is pretty much taken away. Um, as you can see, I mean, it's just it's just tricky to be able to hit it. You're, you're not gonna be able to hit it like you used to be able to, um, you know, with, with the way cover four works. The best chance that I have really is, you know, you would think you used to be able to hit this post route more. Now this post route really doesn't do much. And as you see here, uh, the cover four outside quarter zone on the wide side of the field does occasionally uh, take that away. So how do you get the inside quarter zone to kind of sit down, right? To, to, for lack of better term, to sit down on routes so that it doesn't go guard the post. One of the ways that we used to do this is through slanting um through slanting somebody so like right here i'll just slant Tavon austin and you'll watch i slant him um but as you'll see here you know he still gets back on the ball unfortunately as you can see he still relatively easily even uh gets back on the ball so one of the things that i've actually started doing that has worked really really well for me is to use the running back on an option route so if i take the running back and i put him on an option route this way if they're in man coverage the running back will be open if they're in zone coverage the running back will sit down now for this play in particularly i actually think it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and motion the slant over from right to left and now you have pull routes on both sides um and as you can see there which we, we didn't get too far into that but you'll see that the defense will play a little bit differently based on uh, based on that so for example let's say that I and I just need some time to talk just to show you the routes here but let, let me say let's say that you know I take the, uh, the slant motion over and I just want you to watch the post route on the top here and you'll see here they let him they pass him off they pass him off they pass him off but unfortunately this guy right here about his scantling does not let him go the reason why is because the crossing route is kind of getting in the way of this in, in all reality the, the crossing route is kind of um really the, the the hindering piece of this so we have to get the crossing route out of the way so one of the ways to very easy way to do that is to just put the crossing route on an out route because we're already bringing the slant across anyway and we have the delay fade so now if you take a look at this now what you're going to see is we're going to basically have almost like an inside switch type of route combination but as you can see here this option route to the right now has room to get open if they're in man coverage and if they're in zone coverage you'll see here that now the safety sits on it and it's a one play touchdown over the top so the biggest thing that i can tell you as far as like cover four 
is essentially what you want to do is you want to isolate that inside quarter and then bring a post route over the top of it. So let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. So um, if I take the running back and I put him on a smart routed option route, that's going to be a little bit different than a standard option route because he's going to go 10 yards and then he's either going to curl against his own or against man, he's going to get out of there. So here he goes up and look at how, look at how well that holds him. Now we still got to deal with that on the left side. And the best thing that I know how to do as far as dealing with those inside quarters, that's a matching quarter. And what I mean by that is from 335 wide, in, is, is specifically from uh, 335 wide, those quarters will match um, onto, the, onto the receivers, even if you have zone drops, okay? Which is why I think, one of the major reasons why I think 335 wide is so good. Here you'll see, you know, and again, now he leaves him alone. And all we did differently was we just took a streak, we just put a streak on that side of the field. Okay, so that's another that's that's another little piece of it that you could do because now that quarter can't match on him because he's got to he's got to cross and get another receiver. So, um, anyways, the point is, let's say you want to beat cover four. Um, another thing, another way you could do it would be to simply not motion anybody. I mean, you don't even have to motion anybody. We can create that same combination here on this side without any motion whatsoever. The option route really is the key, and as you see here. Um, it, it gets him over again. Now that that didn't work as well because good old practice mode. You know, it's like even though I have all the backup linemen in, it's still instant shed city. Um, but anyways, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So again, you're just you know simply doing this little thing here. We're completely isolating that side of the field. Um, there's really nothing out there. And then as you see here, we're gonna hold that hold that safety. The option route is the best route in the game, in my opinion to pull zones out and to really hold stuff against zone coverage. So option routes and the ghost routes and hitches and, and things like that, those do a lot for your offense. So that is how to bomb cover four out of bunch tight end. Thanks for watching this video. You're gonna be able to bomb quarters, you're gonna be able to bomb uh, match. Uh, we'll be talking a little bit more match uh, coverage later on. But thanks for watching this video. Like I said, if you wanna get the full offensive ebook, from bunch tight in that is available for you in the description it's just 15 bucks to get the entire offensive system and if you're still sitting on the fence and saying i don't know if i want to buy it or not but i still want to look at more into this i actually have a free one hour preview video uh for the ebook so it's a one hour sample video that kind of shows you a little bit about uh the offense in a deeper way uh, and that's available to you in my text message membership which is completely free for you. All you have to do to sign up for that is just text me. My cell phone number is 812-216-3644. So whether you have a Madden question or if you just want to sign up for the text membership, you can always text me. Um, and basically what will happen is once I am able to get to your message, uh, because I really believe that you know every message should be directly from me um it does take me you know a little bit to get back to people but um i will get back to you and i will get you that video uh, as soon as i possibly can so thanks for your time i really appreciate it i hope you guys have a great rest of your evening and we'll see you on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time and just a quick reminder if you want to get the free sample text me and if you want to get a free or, uh, or if you want to get the full ebook it's just 15 bucks and it's in the description of this video